Okay, we're back again for another 40 minute session. Okay, 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 okay. I see most of you. <laughs> okay. Uh, I shall look our next presenter. Well, I shall wait one more second. Okay. Okay. Okay, there are seventeen of us. Okay, uh, now we're waiting for the presentation by Serhi Orehov, Henadi Malyo, I don't know, Malyohi, Tetyana Goncharenko, and Irina Lutenko. Again, maybe I haven't read it properly. Uh, Sergei Orehov. Tetyana Goncharenko and Irina Lutenko. Do we have those authors here? Mm, if not, then I shall postpone this presentation. Uh, the next one, Olena Pietekop and Olga Pronina. Yes. Oh, you are here. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, Olga. Uh, welcome to Lviv. <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe there are some questions for Olha about her work. Uh, uh, I have a question. What social networks you were working with? Uh, we're working with Instagram. Uh, Instagram. And mm -hmm. uh, uh, we work for um, um, this work is the, uh, devoted to the formation of um, model for uh, target uh, audience on selection. Okay, uh, is, it was someone special Instagram or just any Instagram account? <laughs> Yeah, uh, any Instagram account. Any, okay, well. <laughs> um, uh, you, uh, this work uh, maybe use it uh, with um, um, uh, any social, um, uh, social, uh, social network, but uh, we, uh, we use it uh, Instagram uh, or on uh, uh, Okay, maybe I have a question. Uh, what product you were trying to promote? Or it, it, it was not some special product? Uh, uh, this, um, uh, mo uh, we uh, developed a model. Uh, we, uh, uh, this model, uh, um, for, for, for some special product or any product? Any product. Any Implement product. Uh -huh, I see. Uh, uh, implemented uh, prototype system for oh. social network. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Olha. Maybe there are more questions for Olha? Yevhen, yes, please. In the future, your system uh, may be um, used for Facebook or no? Yes, yes. Uh, we uh, started uh, a development for Facebook, for uh, many uh, other sets work. Mm, uh, mm. Okay. Thank you. Maybe more questions? Thank you, Han. Thank you more for Olha. No more questions? Okay. Thank you, Olha. Thank you. Okay. Uh, the next present is supposed to be Vasil Starko. We have some questions. Oh, yes, Vasil, uh, would you please present your work? Well, uh, maybe there are some questions for Vasil. Uh, Yvonne, yes, please. 
Which tools you used for uh, semantic analysis? Thank you for your question. We're, we're not doing semantic analysis. We are uh, are building a semantic lexicon for Ukrainian. So we already have tools such as the Large Electronic Dictionary of Ukrainian and a tagger that uses this dictionary to tag uh, any Ukrainian language text. But this tagger only applies um, part of speech tags, grammatical tags. So our idea now is to add semantic tags to the lemmas in this dictionary. And then this tagger will be able to tag any given text and uh, apply both grammatical tags and semantic tags. And in that, and this will make possible uh, different types of um, um, studies and, and queries uh, using both grammatical tags and semantic tags separately or in combination. See, thank you. Maybe more. Sulumia, you have a question? No? No question. You have one more event, please. You uh, used um, syntaxem or no, for semantic uh, annotation? No. Syntax Can I ask? Can I ask? Yes, please, Nina Khairova, please. Thank you. Uh, as far as I understand, you make some post tagging according to some dictionary, yes? Make post tagging according to dictionary. Yes. Yeah. Uh, what do you what do you do with some different form words uh, or noun or adjective different forms uh, that we don't have in the dictionary? Uh, first of all, our dictionary is quite big. I think it's the biggest one of its kind for Ukrainian. It has more than four hundred thousand lemmas, which together generate more than six million word forms. So we cover, we cover uh, not only just the basic vocabulary, we cover, cover a lot of uh, terms, um, slang, uh, all kinds of words. So the coverage is very good. Of course, there are always words in a language in text that cannot be covered by a dictionary. Uh, they are not very frequent. But they, but they still exist. So these words are simply uh, not lemmatized. They are left in, in, the, in the output of the tagger, they are left as word forms and no grammatical features are assigned to them. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you Vasil. Maybe there are more questions for Vasil Starko? I see no questions. Um, okay, thank you, Vasil. Thanks for having me. Thank you. Uh, our next presentation is supposed to be made by Anna Bakurova, Maria Pasichnik, Elina Tereshchenko, and Yuri Filet. Uh, do we have those authors? Hello, Maria. Hello, yes, Hello. I'll be the presenter. Thank you. Uh, our paper is Formalization of Ukrainian Language Content for Fuzzy Product in Code. Uh, can I show some of well, my presentation? Or oh, we have question for me? Probably we will have to switch to question answer mode. Uh, unless there will be more time left, well, then we shall come back to your presentation. Uh, mm -hmm. As for now, maybe there are some questions for Maria. Your hand, maybe, no? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But please. Uh, uh, how? Uh, message uh, you used for parametric identification membership function? Uh, we used uh, uh, in formula of our presentation for you can see how we identify the function. Uh, I can show this, but uh, we choose one of the formulas. Okay. 
Okay, maybe maybe yes, it would be faster to look through the Maria's presentation. Uh, we can all find it. Maybe there are more questions for Maria and her work. No more questions? Well, if there will be more questions, you can ask Maria uh, if there will be more time for this session. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, well, thank you for, for, for your presentation. Thank you, Maria. Uh, uh, the next presenter, Mikola Sajok, I see he is somewhere. Oh, yes. Hello, Mikola. Yes. Your work Hello. is written form extraction of spoken numeric sequences in speech to text conversion for Ukrainian. Okay. Well, yes, I, I present a team of uh, researchers who develop uh, speech uh, and language uh, uh, technology and systems. So this is uh, just for illustration of mm -hmm. this uh, work. Uh, actually, our um, speech to text converter produces uh, a sequence of the data which uh, includes uh, um, which word was recognized and uh, the timestamp that's estimation uh, for, for the words where it uh, recognized. And uh, sequences of words uh, um, are readable for human, um, and even if they could be more readable for human if uh, they are converted to uh, more familiar forms, uh, like, uh, like numerics are in di digits and some symbolic uh, and uh, um, abbreviated information is. Uh, uh, represented in a familiar form for a human. So um, we uh, developed a, um, a final state automata which uh, allows us uh, for, for converting uh, word sequences uh, to hypothetical sequences uh, of uh, uh, numerals. Well, and uh, we uh, receive what intended mostly. How? Oh. Maybe questions? <laughs> yes, maybe questions. <laughs> uh, well, uh, the, the, does your work take into account the modern Ukrainian rules of the language or, or not? Well, <laughs> language uh, is quite conservative uh, until people start uh, reading, following the uh, modern rules uh, uh, until then uh, only from this time we can <laughs> um, take into account uh, these changes. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. I see, Makola. Thank you. Uh, maybe there are more questions for Makola? I want to. Uh, yeah, I, I want okay, to ask please, you. Natalia Sharonova, and then you hand, of course, of course. Tell me, please, who uh, may be used? can use uh, uh, your system? For whom this system? Uh, in general, the speech recognition system has a wide applications. It can be used for, uh, for example, for monitoring of a, a broadcast. Our speech. system uh, yeah, uh, supports speech. several languages. Yeah. Yes, is it speech recognition is the sounds or yes, letters? And, yes, yes, we convert mm. sounds to letters. Mm, thank and you. This actually yes, adds a sequence of words. It's yeah. very important, uh -huh. and uh, I think that uh, very difficult. Yeah. Yes, it is. I think so. Too. Wow. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you, Natalia. Thank you, Makola. Your hand, please. Uh, you used a um, Markov model or no? Uh, well, uh, uh, actually, uh, for this uh, specific task, uh, we use finite automaton, finite state automaton. Uh, and for the recognition system, of course, we use uh, HMMs. Uh, these are more productive uh, than other approaches, uh, meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you. Are you satisfied with the answer, Yvonne? Yes, okay, thank you. Thank you, Mikola. Thank you. Uh, we shall go to the next presentation by Olena Pavlenko and Irina Timofieva. Uh, do we have those authors here, Olena Pavlenko and Irina Timofieva? 
Олена or Ірина. Ірина, Ірина Тимофієва. О, все так. Конекти з інтернет зараз. Наш доктор. Irina, no, no, we, we had a sparkle from Irina and, and not anymore. Maybe we shall go back to Irina's presentation later. Uh, we shall continue with Anna Hadzalo. Anna, you were here. Some, oh, yes, you are. Okay, yes. hello, hello, Anna. Yeah, happy to see you all. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, maybe there are some questions for Anna. She was analyzing the gender market units and pre presented her statistical approach. Uh, in what language, Anna? Uh, actually, I have used the English one because uh, I have used corpora as the material as the text that I have been analyzing because I consider the corpus as the most appropriate uh, in information where we can take, yeah. But anyway, uh, I have used uh, two corpora, two English corpora, the British, National Corpora and the COCA and, and the Corpora of American English, mm -hmm. Contemporary American English. So yeah, that was English, but it can be conducted both of, on any language, doesn't matter what. And we have here Maria Schwedo that has perfect graph corpus we are using with our students. So it can be conducted on other languages as well. Uh -huh, I see, I see, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for question. <laughs> Maybe more questions for Anna? You have yes, please. Uh, how how many cents we used for your statistical approaches? Mm -hmm. Actually, uh, the amount of, the amount that has been encountered here that were the lemmas that contained the words um, gender marked words. I mean, like girl, boy, man, etc. That they are definitely gender marked. And when we are talking about the amount of words in general, then they are under 5,000. But when we are going, but we can have even more, if we will have a look on some slang words as chick, etc., so on and so forth. But we just took the most popular, for example, for a girl that was woman, wife, mother, sister, etc. But definitely it could be brought in. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Anna. Maybe there are more questions for Anna? I see. No, no, no more questions. Okay. There are no more questions. Okay. Thank you, Anna. There are no more questions. Um, thank you. Thank you again. And we shall skip. We shall go to Natalia Romanation. Is there Natalia? She was somewhere. The work. Yes. Good afternoon. Hello, hello, Natalia. The application of corpus, corpus technologies in conceptual studies uh, based on Ukrainian, based on Ukrainian and English as much as I understand political media discourse. Maybe there are some questions for Natalia. Well, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. Corpus technology and concepts and Ukrainian political discourse. And political. Uh, I have a question, Natalia. Mm, you used some polit well, English and Ukrainian political media discourse. Uh, how many texts you were worked on? You worked on without where? Well, approximately 400 texts, open access texts, well, ranging from two, uh, 20, 30. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you hear me? Yes, yes, we do. Well, we do. I do. And probably nobody else. We do, we do. No, Natalia. Natalia, Natalia. Okay, well, maybe Natalia will come back to us later. Maybe we shall ask Maria Shvedova to present Hello, her right work. Here. Okay, and then we shall go back to Natalia if, when she comes back. Okay, Maria Shvedova with the general region, regionally annotated corpus of Ukrainian, the architecture and functionality. Okay. Uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, sorry, I have no camera, so I, okay. I'll show you um, my screen. 
its corpus. Uh, I want to present our uh, general, general regional annotated corpus of Ukrainian, which was uh, um, made for the linguistic research. Uh, it started uh, three years ago uh, for, um, uh, for my research of Ukrainian grammar but it's uh, available on the internet, on the corpus site, and uh, I'm happy that uh, many linguists uh, now use it uh, as well. Uh, in my uh, video talk, I presented the structure of corpus, the, the metatextual annotation, and uh, gave some examples of uh, research. And uh, now I want to say that a few days ago, the corpus was renewed, and um, updated. Uh, now it counts uh, more than 5,000 million tokens. Uh, you, you can see the new corpus information of uh, AIDS version. Mm -hmm. We added uh, some collections of, uh, uh, here you see, uh, some collections, uh, new collections of Soviet newspapers and magazines and uh, 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 huge corpus of uh, Vysoky Zamok newspaper texts, which prepared Vasil Starko and Andrei Reisling. And now it's, uh, uh, okay. it became, became bigger. <laughs> Thank you, Maria. Um, Maybe there are some questions for Maria? Yes. Uh, uh, ask a question. Uh, I, yes, please. Yes, I'm still... Uh, ah, Andrei, okay. Yes, yes. Because uh, uh, I cannot predict uh, these issues, but it ha can arise. So, sorry. Uh, at first, I want to thank you. Um, thanks, many thanks to your team, because it's a very nice uh, tool uh, uh, which used, and it's uh, indeed useful tools uh, which are well known. And I want to ask you... Uh, about technologies you used inside the corpus and uh, which uh, programmatic tools, which frameworks you used, and in what platform you do you run? Uh, I run your uh, your system, uh, and what amount uh, of data you are storing and process? Uh, thank you. Uh, I, I I'm just a linguist, and uh, 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 all uh, technical part of this work um, made uh, uh, Professor Oprich von Waldenfels and uh, the uh, system of morphological analysis uh, uh, is made by Andrei Reisen and Vasil Sterko. I know uh, that uh, we use uh, Nosky Changing Platform for uh, searching corpus and uh, we have some uh, our own uh, tools uh, which made by Timothy Nikolayenko uh, for us. Uh, uh, there are plots uh, on the corpus side. You can see they are all available. Here are plots uh, for uh, our corpus and searching by list of words. Uh, these are our, mm -hmm. our own tools. Okay, thank and you. And context Maria. interface. Okay, thanks, Maria. Uh, thank you, Andre, for the question. Maybe some more questions for Maria. Your hand, yes, please. Uh, how you um, automated uh, on the annotation process? Uh, annotation of uh, metatextual well, and, uh, metatextual annotation. Yes, was made manually. No. Oh, I see. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yes, are yours first. Okay. Maybe some more questions for Maria? Yeah, if you don't mind. Anna, um, yes, please. Anna? Yeah, first of all, definitely I would like also to yes. send you my gratitude for the work you are doing because really the graph is very good corporate that my students even are using. And I have no question, just want to say thank you. And <laughs> you thank you. And Thanks a lot. <laughs> And I will be very happy to meet you alive. Yeah, I mean in place. Yeah, somewhere in Lviv. Hopefully after quarantine. And uh, we would like to invite you to our applied linguistics department. We will be happy to have you. 
Thank you. <laughs> thank you, Anna. There. Thank you, Maria. <laughs> yes, we will be very happy to see you in Lviv. Okay, thanks, thanks, Maria. Thank you. Thank, okay. thank you. Okay. Uh, our next presentation will be done by Victoria Zhukovska. Is Victoria here somewhere? Victoria Zhukovska? Victoria, well, maybe maybe later. Uh, then uh, Kluyev Oleksandr, Vnukova Natalia. I'm here, I'm here. I'm here. here. Uh, I am here. Oh, Daria, okay. Yeah, I'm here. Uh, good afternoon, colleagues. Um, the authors of the study, Kluyev Oleksandr, Glipko Sergei, Vnukova Natalia and Brinza Natalia and I, uh, David and Kadaria, uh, today I am a delegated speaker uh, from uh, our author's team. Um, uh, the main idea of our research um, uh, the use of uh, Google's uh, search engineers has confirmed in the search uh, uh, experiments with language terms uh, the ability to study the moods uh, which uh, uh, allows use to form a statistic base uh, for decision making to the model uh, development topics in particular uh, territories. Um, maybe you have questions for me yes moments. are there any questions for daria <laughs> you hand of course you hand yes thank you you hand uh, which uh, message modeling we used you used um, 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 uh, we used uh, um, existing programs uh, uh, decision making helper um, and uh, the statistic method uh, uh, of uh, google trends okay thank you thank you daria thank you okay more maybe more yeah. questions for daria Okay, thanks. If there are no questions, then thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, maybe there is an Alexander Leletsky, Olga Glazunova, and Vitaly Klimenko. Now, again, Alexander Leletsky, Olga Glazun Olena Glazunova, I'm sorry, Vitaly Klimenko. Not yet. Uh, then maybe Hanna Livinska and Alexander Makarevich. Oh, yes, there is Hanna. Hi, Hello. Hello. Good afternoon. Okay. Hello. Hello. Nice to meet you. Anna. I represent uh, Taras Shevchenko National University of Kiev. I am from Applied Statistics Department, and uh, Alexander is from uh, Mathematical Informatics. Yes, Sasha. Yes, <laughs> exactly. And uh, he is uh, the main executor, really. Uh, so he will <laughs> speak about uh, our research and uh, we'll answer the question so switch on please to alexander okay alexander okay. Uh, but probably we will see your presentation maybe there are some questions for alexander and for hannah uh, i have a question alexander there is about a prediction on ukrainian well, about the linguistic prediction what is the most unusual prediction, an example of the most unusual prediction? Mm, well, actually, there are mm, a number of examples. Uh, since we used BERT, and BERT is a model that mm, predicts not um, actually the sentences, but uh, rather tokens, and uh, each word is breaking down into a tokens, and the model predicts a token. It was very interesting to look at how the model predicts tokens in place of mask tokens. So what we did, for example, we took a sentence, and we um, masked one token in the sentence and wanted to look at what um, the model predicted in place of the mask tokens. However, uh, as uh, discussed in the paper, uh, we think that the Ukrainian language was uh, a low so uh, the quality of the predictions uh, might have been low. And as we saw, the original model that we didn't train ourselves, but rather just used, um, predicted very often uh, punctuation signs, for example, instead of actual word, it predicted comma, or for example, if the word was placed closer to the end of the sentence, it predicted a um, uh, dot, instead of, uh, it predicted a dot instead of a special word. 
However, this might be attributed to the fact that there are a lot of punctuation signs in the text, and since uh, Google implementation of BERT on Ukrainian model was not very good, we tried to make it better. And so in our example, uh, it started predicting uh, the words more reliably. For example, it might still not, uh, it, sometimes it might still not predict the right word. However, it predicts the right part of speech and uh, the sentences predicted now make much more sense compared with original mm. Google's implementation. Mm. Are you satisfied with your results, Alexander? Uh, yes, however, uh, we are hoping to establish more reliable and robust techniques on uh, testing the model as a language model, especially for Ukrainian language, because there are a number of um, unified frameworks for testing language model, for example, like Stanford University question answering data set. However, there are no analogies for Ukrainian. And what we and Hannah are kind of hoping to do is actually establish a more reliable and robust uh, metrics and performance techniques to establish Ukrainian models because we want to introduce Ukrainian language into a modern data science and NLP. I see. Well, I hope we will hear about those results soon. Uh, well, there is eight more minutes to, for our, this one session. Uh, probably I shall skip to two more presenters, if you do not mind. Uh, there is, is there yeah, Allah, okay. well, thank you, Alexander. Thank you, Anna. Uh, is there uh, Allah Taran now with the presentation about the retrieval system? Anna Taran, no? Maybe Tetiana Nerota and Roman Ivaski are here. It will be the last presentation. Yes. Uh, okay, Roman. Uh, well, uh, we have some time, about five to six minutes. Um, maybe there are some questions for Roman. The, well, the, the, the topic is the enhancement of conception and embedding the enterprise social network in academy information space. Well, maybe there are some questions for Roman. No, 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 well, some questions. Uh, okay, well, Roman, unfortunately, there are no questions <laughs> for you. Mm, maybe. Uh, Maybe you have, you, no, we, we, I don't see your answer. Okay, uh, that would be probably all for the today's section. Uh, thank you all for participation. If there are any questions for some of the authors, then you can find them on the internet or uh, through our program committee. Uh, there will be one more, close. well, there will be a closing section. Uh, it starts at 3 p.m. In a, in a couple of minutes. Um, I shall start it and you will join it. You're welcome to join it. Uh, thank you all. I was very glad to see you, to meet you and work with you. I hope uh, next time we will see each other in person. And uh, still, it's a very nice experience to have such a, such a kind of conversation and such kind of section. Thank you. It's all. a lack of Thank lack of so cover much. breaks. Lack of cover breaks. <laughs> really, yeah. <laughs> yes, it is. Well, thank you all. See you thank in a couple you. of minutes in the closing section. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. So Goodbye. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. <laughs>